Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farm and Beekeeping Channel. My name is Vince, and welcome. Alrighty, what we're going to do today is we're going to use my new toy. A friend of mine is here, Paul. We're going to spin his wax and spin my wax. We're going to see how this thing works. It's got the, uh, it's got, the way this is designed, it's got big holes in it, but they send you this finer cloth, this finer like screen to go around the inside to catch all the fine stuff. And at first I thought this was going to be kind of a pain, the way it would just wobble inside, but when it turns on, and I'll show you, it spins right to the outside. So let me put this in, and I'll show you really quick what it does. But when you turn it on, the force just spins it right to the outside. So if you don't put this screen in, a lot of your cabbings are going to go through that holes. I don't know why they wouldn't make these with smaller holes, but obviously they know what they're doing, and this works, so, and that should just wash off really easy when we're done. This even comes with a screw on here if you want to decap into this thing too, you can, which is actually nice. If you want to decap, you put it right on there and go. So, all right, we'll put, if you don't have, oh. Oh, you got just a bucket of honey. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. All right, we'll put that there. Okay. You got a spoon or something? Or? Yeah, let me get, I got a scoop right here. Or I got that big horse one. You, you want to do it there? You want to just do it through here? I, I don't know. I don't know. We're both learning as we go here. So of course we'll turn it on. yourself out. I just pour it right in. Oh, this is kind of hard. <laughs> Once you get it balanced, obviously it works better. Once you get it balanced, obviously it works better. I'm like, really? Maybe once it gets going. You guys can't get it. You can see the honey starting to come out. Yeah, we might have to close the door. You want to
Okay, so we readjusted some of the honey, some of the wax in here. It's spinning better without us holding it now, and you can see the honey coming out. It's coming out pretty good, but we adjusted some of that wax, so now it's not wobbling so hard. So we just kind of let her go. I'm not quite sure how long. I've seen different different thoughts on how long to let this thing run. So the honey quits coming out. I would think when the honey stops coming out, right. Let me go get that tote. That's got to be warmed up by now, you think? Oh, yeah. Should be. Let me dump that right in. Just sit here and watch it spin. All right, so the wax is done spinning, and when this is done, that wax is just like really, it's almost just dry, just like crumbles in your hands. And you can see the honey that's come out of here. Back this up. He got about an extra inch, inch and a half of honey in this bucket. So we're gonna, this bucket was 30 pounds before we started. We're gonna put it on my scale. We're gonna see what it weighs when he's done here. And after he scoops all that wax out, that basket lifts right out of there, but I'm gonna do mine next, so I'll just leave it once he gets all his out. But we're gonna, we'll tip this forward and drain any excess honey out of there. I got this big stainless steel paddle for this purpose. Unfortunately, if this screen rips, it's just cheap screen. You can replace it. Obviously, if I wasn't going to do this again, we'd just take this basket out, but since we're going to go again here... It actually works pretty good. I can, here, I can, let me pull this out. Let's get this thing the hell out of the way. Let's take it outside and shake it off. We can't shake it here. You care if I just shake this outside? No, that's fine. It looks pretty good, I guess, huh? Yep. All right, so we're going to lift this basket out, and we're going to see how much honey is in here. Not much. You really can't see with the camera there, but you can see a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of honey in there still. What we, there's not much in there, look. That vat's nice, that drain. It's nice on this drain, that hole is right at the edge of it, so it pretty much all drains out. But what we can do, just tip it. We'll tip it. We'll put it on the scale, and we'll see what she weighs. Wow, 10, holy crap. 41.8. 41.8, eight. it was 30 point what, six? Yeah. 10 pounds, 11 pounds? Yeah. An extra 11 pounds of honey came out of that wax. That's an extra, if you're selling honey for $10 a pound, there's an extra $100 worth of honey. That's a beautiful thing. Paul would do the happy dance on camera, but he's, he's shy. This is your cappings? Yeah. Wow, that's heavy. No, there's honey in there. All right, now it's my turn. We're gonna... Back in here. 
think what you turn it here, ready? Right? You just flip it on. As you turn it on, it just spins it right off to the side. Let me just check it here. It should be fine. Off so. We dump it right in the middle. I think that's the trick. Right in the buckle. Oh, shit. Close. Oh. Let's, let's adjust some of that. I scrape that out. Oh, I can wash it out, I guess. When, once we get this thing level. So obviously when you put your wax in here, you got to make sure it's balanced. Here again, first time doing this, so... Hey, I might leave this outside, let the bees eat this, you know, after you're cleaning. Get too fast. That's all right. So you learn. Real easy to balance it. When you see you've got a high spot on one side and the other, just just level it all the way around. Now look at it, it's nice. Pour it right in the center slowly. It's okay, it's not even to the top yet. Where's that stash land? That's in the sink. These bars are clean. Uh, grab one of those blue ones. Those blue ones are clean. It's a company. All right. I'll plug that. You can probably re spin that again, huh? Hard to tell in this video, but my honey is a little milkier than his honey. Different place where it comes from. So if you want to test your, the moisture in your honey, you can use one of these, a refractometer. I think that's how you say it. Put a little bit, a little bit on it. Let's just spin it out. Why don't you set that top on it and you can set it Even if you get some wax cappings in your honey, it's still going to flow to the top and you can scoop them out. All right, so we're just about done here. You can see it's barely coming out. I am going to restrain this honey. A couple of bees, unfortunately, found their way into it, but I'm going to, I'm going to restrain this. There's a little bit of fine wax cappings in there. I'm just going to run it through the, I'm just going to run it through the strainer again, let it strain. And we're good to go. Now the mistake I made to get to get an accurate reading, I should have weighed that wax by itself. The wax had honey in the bucket already. It was already honey that you know the wax raised up from the honey. I should have weighed that. I should have taken the wax out by itself. I dumped the whole thing back in here. So I'm going to weigh this when I'm done. We're going to see what it comes out to. But I, I'm not going to get know how much extra honey I got because I had honey and wax in that bucket, but I had a layer of about four, four inches of wax in there. So we'll see what this weighs when I'm done. So I'm gonna shut this thing off here. This bucket's about half full. And we're gonna see what the wax looks like. Now this is nice and dry. So I'm gonna put all this in a bucket, seal it, get it, out, get it in the basement. 
All I'm going to do is pull all this wax out of here. I'm going to scrape it out. All right, while that's draining, I'm going to scoop out this wax. Push it all to one side. I got a bucket right here. I will weigh the wax. Ah. This thing is well, in my opinion anyway, this is well worth the money because look at all the extra honey you got. And if you want to do something with your wax, look at how nice it comes out. So this honey we're going to keep for ourselves. I'd like to enjoy this a little bit instead of just selling it all the time. So we're going to keep this honey for ourselves. Well, there. About a half a bucket. This basket slides right out of here. I'm just going to take it. Yeah, there's a bunch of... And I'm just going to leave it for right now. The bees are out of here now. Okay, so I got about a half a bucket of wax, which weighs 8.3 pounds. Now you got to subtract 1.9 off of that, and that'll give you the total amount of wax that I got pound-wise, and then we'll just see what that melts down to when the time comes. Uh, I, got, I got my wax melter downstairs where I've got an old turkey roaster. Since I ain't got a whole lot of wax, I'll probably just use the turkey roaster. A friend of mine that was just here, I let him borrow that. He's going to melt all his wax down. An old turkey ro uh, roaster works great. Fill it with water, dump your wax in, turn it to 350. Within an hour, your wax is melted, strain it. You might have to do it a couple times, but that would be a different video. So anyways, i got about a half a bucket of wax. All right, what I'm doing, I've got this tip forward just so the rest of the honey can come out of here. You can still see there's some really fine stuff that was in there. Part of that was my fault when we first dumped it in. I dumped it in too fast. Live and learn. I've never used this machine before. So I dumped it in too fast and that's fine. I just re-dumped it back in there and re-spun it again. But some of the stuff that was in the bottom of the machine and the bottom here underneath the basket came through obviously and that's fine. I, I could just restrain it like when I do the honey. So well, when we dumped it in, it went over the basket. Live and learn. I'll know for next time. Just don't dump it in so fast. So I'll let this finish draining. I've got the machine tip forward. I've got the, I've got the tip. So I've got the spinner tip forward. I'll let this just drain. I'll let it go. I've got it covered with a towel. The bees seem to find their way in here. They're gone now. So I've got this covered up. I'll let this finish draining. I'm not sure how much more honey is in there. I'll let it just drain for another hour. So I'll take it in the basement and I'll strain it down there. I'll keep the bees away. I can just open this door again. I'll leave the towel on here just to keep it covered, just to keep the girls out of it. So anyways, that's it. First time I used it. A friend of mine, he came over. He got to spin his. He got... Oh, what did he get? I forgot. Oh, he got an extra 12... Yeah, he got an extra 12 pounds of honey out of his. He got 12 pounds of honey out of his wax. So I'm guessing I'm probably about the same because I had about... Maybe about the same amount of wax, maybe a little bit less, actually. Now, I bet I got a little bit less, because I only had a bucket full this much and about that deep. So he had, he had more. So yeah, he got 12 pounds of honey out of his wax, which is great. So that's, what, that's how nice. the machine's a little costly. This spinner's a little costly, but look what you're going to make up for it in years with the honey that you're getting extra from before when you would just let it strain and you wait and wait and wait, and you still had, you could still feel the honey in the wax. This takes it all out. I probably could have let this spin a little while longer, but I wanted to just get this done. The little bit of honey that's in there probably doesn't amount to much because all that wax feels nice and dry. If you feel it, it's all, it's just nice. It just falls apart. So a nice investment. I really like this. So I got, I got a half a bucket of honey here. I know that was probably, that's probably twice the amount. So that was probably a quarter bucket of honey in there. 
So I got about another quarter of a bucket. So I'll weigh this when I'm done. So I got, yeah, so I got about a quarter extra bucket of honey out of this. Um, I had about that much wax. The rest of it was honey. So I did pretty good. So that works out great. Although I should have just taken the wax out and did, I just didn't even think about it. This way I could have got more of an accurate measurement, but I'm good. I got an extra half a bucket of honey here. We'll keep that for ourselves. The rest of it I'll sell. If anybody wants honey, you can let me know. I, I do ship it. Uh, just message me on, on Facebook. Go to my Facebook page. You can send me a message, and I can send you honey. If you, if you want to buy honey, that'd be great. I have it, so and lots of it. So anyways, that is my story. So hopefully... Hopefully I explained this machine good enough to you. Any questions on it, let me know in the comments. Like I said, obviously I never used it before, and you can see the mistake I made. I put too much in. When we did his, his was still a little cold because he had stored it in the fridge, and we were all out of balance, but then once we balanced it, it ran really nice. Mine, I just dumped it in too fast, and it was just shooting. It was doing what it was supposed to do, but it was shooting over the edge, going down the wall into the, into the bottom of the thing where it drains out into the bucket. So my mistake, live and learn for the next time. So anyways, hopefully you like this. Any questions, comments on this, let me know. And I will talk to you guys in the next video really soon. All right, bye.